Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will see step-by-step -step video to create Azure custom VM image. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. So what happens is like you have in Azure marketplace, there are many different templates available for OS deployment. These are general purpose templates, but in corporate environment administrator, we use custom images for the OS deployment. These images are usually fine-tuned for corporate requirements. Azure also allows to do the same. In Azure, we can create custom images according to our requirements and use it to deploy virtual machines. In this video, we will create a custom image and how we can use it to deploy the new virtual machines. So I'm logged in to the Azure portal using the global admin. I'm the global administrator. Now let's create a virtual machine with the OS requirement so let me create a windows uh, server 2016 data center so i will go on to create a resource 2016 data center the options come up i'll select the resource group let me create a new one uh, let me do this okay let me select this az104 lab 2 vm1 you can give it any name east us i'm going with the default size right i'm gonna enter my username selected ports no disk do with standard HTT networking it's gonna create a new network management i'm gonna go with disable off advanced nothing to select here i'm not gonna use tags review create you all know the creation of a virtual machine so you have to do it as well i'm gonna click on create it's gonna initialize the deployment we all know this we have done it many times And it's going to submit my deployment. The deployment is in progress. I'm going to see the deployment name, subscription, resource group, start time, the correlation ID, and every detail. So I'll have to pause this video and come back as soon as my VM is up and running. Okay, the deployment is complete. I'm going to go to my resource, which is my VM1. I'm going to connect to this VM using the public IP. connect and enter the username and password there it is i'm gonna click on yes it seems to be connecting I'm going to install, uh, let me install Adobe Reader on this. Let it come up. It's coming up slowly and slowly. Okay. Let me just disable IE enhanced security so that I can download uh, Adobe Reader without any issues, without the unnecessary pop-ups. Okay. This is the internet. Let me go on to Google. Here it is. Download Adobe Reader. Okay. 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 It's downloading. I'm going to let it complete and come back. I'm going to pause the video. It is finished. I click on finish. Let's see what I got. It is launching Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. 
awesome and let me create a folder in the C drive of the server I go to this PC C drive new folder I do share docs okay I have a new folder so I have installed Adobe Acrobat Reader and I have created a folder in the C drive called share docs and once you have customized it like I created a VM then I installed Adobe Acrobat Reader on it and I created a folder called share docs so let me just run the sys prep command uh, as an administrator from the command line so I will launch the command prompt as an administrator I'll do this do a right click run as administrator I do this so I'll do it would be here when dir then again this system 32 sysprep sysprep dot exe right so it, it gives me this option system preparation tool prepares the machine for hardware independence and cleanup as soon as you get this option you click on journalize here click on it and on the shutdown option you select shutdown so once the prep would be completed the system would shut down the VM and I click on OK So processing generalized phase sysprep sys plugins onto this Azure VM. Please be very cautious to not do it on your VM. Do it on the Azure VM while you are doing this lab. So let me just quickly pause this video and come back as soon as this is done. It's going to take some time. All right, the VM is shut down. Let me go to that VM. You see that the VM is stopped and I have an option to start it now I click on capture to capture this uh, this image so that I can create custom images so I'll click on capture so in this window I will provide the name for an image and select a resource group to save this image we'll have to also make sure to select automatically delete this delete this virtual machine after creating the image so this is the name of the image that I'm getting by default. This is the resource group in which I will store it. I can create a new resource group as well. I'm going to select automatically delete this virtual machine after creating the image. I do not want to go with zone resiliency. I would click on create. Here it is. Okay, so I have to add the virtual machine name. So I will do it like this. Two. Or oh, the virtual machine name that I'm capturing. Okay. So I'm going to click on create. It is stopping a virtual machine because I've selected this option of automatically delete this virtual machine after creating an image so it will capture it it will stop it and then the process would run from the backend so let me just quickly pause this and come back after it is done now if you would see it is creating an image of my so it is capturing it creating image now after it has stopped the virtual machine now it is creating it it has successfully created the image because there was not 
many things installed or configured on that VM. Now it is deleting my virtual machine. Successfully deleted. The process is complete. Now let's see what happens. Now I'll have to go to click on home. I'll have to click and look for images here because I have captured it. So I'm going to click on images. This is the image that was created. Click on it. And now you get an option to create a VM out of this image. Click on it. So now you give the virtual machine name here. Right, select the options. Let me give it like this Windows Server, Desk, select the disk. HDD, networking, VNet, doesn't make a difference, management, I'm going to disable it, depend upon you how you want to do it, tags I don't want, review create, and after that I'm going to click on create. So now when this VM would be created, it would have, it would already have the things that I configured uh, on the previous VM from which I captured the image because this VM I am creating from an image. I'm not creating this VM from the scratch. Uh, it's not a, it will be a new VM, but I am creating this out of that image in which I created a folder under the C drive and I installed Adobe Acrobat Reader. Right, so let's wait. Let me just pause the video and come back as soon as it is done. All right, deployment is complete. Let me go to resource. Beautiful. So let me copy the public IP. Let me connect to it. All right, username and password. Okay. Yes. Let it connect. It is connecting. Please wait for the user profile service. It is connecting. It is, uh, it will take me to the desktop in a few seconds. All right. So if you see Adobe Acrobat Reader DC is installed on a fresh Azure VM, you would not see Azure Adobe Acrobat Reader installed. And now if I click on the C drive or look for the C drive, I would surely see uh, that folder. Let me check. See, Share Docs. Right? So you would not see Share Docs folder on a newly installed uh, Azure VM. I journalized that VM. I did a sysprep. I captured the image. Then out of that image, I created a VM. That is how you do the capturing and you create a vm from the image in azure so i hope you liked it please mention in your feedback or queries in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a great day ahead Bye bye